Wildcats! Today is Wednesday, February 1st, 2023, and this is Rafaela Jengua and Fia Takaba bringing you the news for today. Also, remember to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the video so you won't miss what's going on at Wilmer Elementary School. The weather today will be partly sunny temps in the upper 30s. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the present respect. I am a smart, special, and valuable person. I respect myself and I respect others. My words and actions are kind and honest. I respect only my best and all that I do. I am proud to be with you. You may be seated. Today for lunch we'll be having tur turkey corn dog nuggets or green chili tama tamale, turkey and cheese sandwich, chicken salad platter, PB&J sandwich with cheese stick, steamed sweet corn, seasoned black beans, red gold salsa cup, fruit cup, and milk. Here's the word of the day. Hoodwink. Hoodwink wink means to deceive or trick someone. Coming up next is the Woodmore Elementary School Sports Update. What's up? This is Shane Davis and Lance Thomas bring you this week's sports update. The Eagles bust out the 49ers 31-7. The Chiefs barely beat the Bengals 23-20. The Wizards beat the Pelicans 113-103. It was why this year's, this year's Super Bowl will be the Eagles and the Chiefs. And this is this week's Woodmore Elementary School Sports Update. Here's today's Black History Month facts. How, how this former enslaved person inspired others to fight for freedom by C.M. Tomlin from National Geographic for Kids. Frederick Douglass was born an enslaved person in February 1818 when he was about eight. His owner sent him to work in Baltimore, Maryland. Although most people didn't want enslaved people to learn to read, the wife of the man Douglas worked for taught him anyway. When he was about 20, Douglas disguised himself as a sailor and escaped to New York, a free state without slavery. He continued to read as much as he could, which helped him become a great storyteller. While living in Massachusetts, he spoke at a meeting of abolitionists, people who wanted to end the practice of enslaving people. He told them about his life as an enslaved person. He was such an amazing speaker that he started traveling all over the Northern States trying to convince larger groups of people to end the practice. Douglas was free in the North, but he was still enslaved in the South. Soon, he was so famous that he had to move to England so that his former owner couldn't capture him. In 1847, Douglas's friends raised money to buy his freedom from his owner, and but, he returned to, to the United States. But no matter where he was, Douglas continued to give powerful speeches urging the end of enslaving people until he died on February 20th, 1895. His words, his words still inspire people today. The PTO is selling Valentine's candy grams. Each decorative gram includes a card and a candy bouquet. The cost is $5 for three different candy grams. The PTO will deliver candy grams on February 14, 2023. The parents can buy candy grams on February, February 6, 2023 through February 10, 2023 on the PTO's website, www.winmarkpto.com slash shop. The PTO will also take orders in person during lunch on February 9, 2023 and February 10, 2023. Cash payments only. There will, be, there will also be a Valentine's Day dance. Come celebrate kindness and, friend, and friendship with your classmates and friends. The dance will take place on February 10th, 2023 from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. here at Woodmore in the cafeteria. Please check the flyer for more details. Happy birthday to all who are celebrating your birthday today. If it's your birthday, please come down to the office to get your birthday sticker and pencil. Have a wonderful teaching and learning day. Go Wildcats!